Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something slightly different. I'm just going to be sitting and talking to you guys about my biggest insecurity basically. <laughs> I don't know if broadcasting it live to the world on the internet is the right thing to do because then everyone knows that it's my biggest insecurity. However, I kind of just want to do this video to help people out, even if it just helps one person, if it helps two people. Honestly, I just kind of wish that this sort of video was out there for me when I was slightly younger and help somebody out, basically. Um, so if you haven't already, then please subscribe down below. Please hit the like button. And let's jump on into the video. Okay, so let's just start out by talking about what my biggest insecurity is. My biggest insecurity is my skin. Obviously, I'm wearing makeup right now, so you cannot see how bad it is at the moment. Obviously, you can kind of see what it looks like and sort of, yeah, you can see that. Anyway, my biggest insecurity is my skin at the moment. I have always, always struggled with my skin, I have always had problems with it, I've always had spots, I've always had scars, it's just something that I've lived with since I was a teenager and still going into my early 20s, I still struggle with my skin. So I'm basically just going to tell you where it all started, how I've got from where it started to where I am now so I'm gonna get on with that now instead of telling you what I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna be popping up photos of my skin by the way so that you can see what I'm actually talking about. So when I was younger I was in about year 9 at school I think it was. Yeah year 9 so I was 14, 15 around that sort of age and I had really bad spots on my chin and it was on my chin only. I didn't get it anywhere else, I didn't get it on my forehead, my cheeks, nothing, I only got it around this portion of my face. And then this day, as you can see, my skin was really bad, they were really angry spots. They were really big and really horrible and red and that day I actually managed to have a doctor's appointment. I'd had doctor's appointments before and I'd received treatment from them, um, so I have used the cream. It's Duac, D-U-A-C-K-C, not with a K, D-U-A-C, um, I don't know how you pronounce it, Duac, Duac, I don't know, I've tried that, I then had one of those rolly things that you put on your skin, I had one of them, and they didn't work, and then I went to the doctors and she told me, look, you have this acne, which has a thousand Z's and V's in it, I have no idea what it was called, but she said that I have this type of acne, which is called blah de blah de blah the only forms around this portion of your face, so it's just like your mouth area, basically. And the sun just suddenly came out of nowhere. Like, it was stuck behind a cloud and it's just gone so bright. <laughs> so yeah, I had an acne that only formed around your mouth area, and then I had that for quite a few years, so I want to say I had that from 14 until... 17 I want to say yeah 17 and she told me don't use moisturizers with oils in it it's not going to be good for your skin whatever whatever so I just fully avoided skincare I didn't have a skincare routine I yeah I didn't look after my skin because when she said don't use moisturizers because they've got oils in them it just kind of in my head I was like just don't use anything so I didn't I never had a skincare routine up until recent if I'm honest um but anyway, I got to the age of 17 and I it kind of went. It didn't completely go. I had a couple of scars, but honestly, it kind of was clear, you know? It wasn't bad. I, I was all right, and I didn't realise that it was actually, like, gone at that point, I don't think. But I look back and, like, I see pictures of myself and I'm like, oh my gosh, it was so clear. Anyway, my skin was clear for... I want to say about a year, not completely clear, but it was a lot better than it had been. And then I got to the age, I think it was about, I must have been 19, 18, 19. And I had two spots that appeared on my cheek here. They were identical to each other, like this, on my cheek. And then suddenly I had like four. And then I had six. And then it took over my whole face. And I'm not joking, I, I'll see if I've got a picture, but I'll pop up a photo here so you can kind of 
see what it looked like on this side of my cheek and this side of my cheek has honestly been covered for the last year and it got really bad up until like the start of lockdown it was really bad really red spots everywhere and then I was like right I am going to sort this out I've I need to get rid of them so I implemented a skincare routine I started using the Lizelle stuff as you would have seen on my skincare routine video I'll put it in the eye if you want to watch it but don't because the products don't work on me so I started using the Lizelle stuff and that didn't work basically um, and then I halfway through lockdown I ordered the La Roche La Roche oh, oh, it's in my bag La Roche Posay cleanser um, for my face and when I started using that these two spots that were here appeared on this side and now it's got okay you can't really see because I've got makeup but it honestly started off as two and then it went to four and then it went to six and now this portion of this cheek is covered and this side is kind of fine now it's very odd I don't understand because I, when I say there were two spots here they were identical on this side they were just two spots here and they were exactly the same type of spot it was so weird anyway and I carried on using this La Roche Pose because I saw Sydney Crouch is it Sydney Crouch from Sydney I saw that she used it and she said it instantly cleared up her skin and then her subscribers started buying it and they were all like oh my gosh she saved my life it works for me so I started using it and it's not worked my skin has got spottier it's got worse I'm not saying that the product is bad whatsoever it's just not worked for me everyone's skin is so different to each other things work for one person that don't work for another so yeah that started happening and then my insecurities came back like a bitch so this side of my face is just just spotty okay it's just spotty this side is a lot better than it used to be i then bought this chemical peel so i tried a chemical peel and it was from the company called needles and cream and i'm still using it i'm going to be doing my peel today but you basically do a chemical peel for once a week because it's quite strong so it's a pre peel solution and you put it on with a cotton pad and then it is 10 percent salicylic acid you put that all over your face and each week you increase the amount of time that you leave the salicylic acid on your face and so i think i'm on week six now and um it's, i don't know if it's working or not but i'm just sticking it through and then you have another solution which is the neutralizer and again you put that on another tractor honestly there's so many tractors around here <laughs> and then yeah you use that neutralizer with a cotton pad and put that on afterwards and then splash your face with some cold water so i've been doing that once a week and i don't know if it's working but as i said i'm just sticking it out because i've bought it and i need to use it so that is where i'm at today so another thing the contraceptive pill and contraception obviously a lot of girls my age are on contraception I am myself I've been on contraceptive pills well I've been on one contraceptive pill the whole time I've ever used a pill but I've been on that for about four years now and I've realized that so I was on Rivergoodon it is the pill that you see on Twitter and it's the pink packet and it people say it gives you blood clots it's not good for you it makes you fat it makes you depressed and it makes you spotty <laughs> so I never realized that I was well I did obviously realize but it never registered in my head that I have been putting fake hormones into my body for the last four years okay obviously it's fine like so many people are on the pill so I've been putting fake hormones into my body and the hormones have been making me spotty so I rang well I didn't ring the doctors I did like the e appointment online because obviously everything with covid19 i hate saying covid19 coronavirus everything going on you have to do it online so i did it they rang me back the next day and she said right okay it's making you spotty we'll change your pills so i've now changed to lucette i've been on it for two weeks and this side of my skin is starting to clear up 
I don't know how, it's less red, I haven't got any active spots, they're all closing up, they're all getting smaller, so I think that it's working. Which is like so good because I've tried everything, I've tried face masks, face washes, I've tried so many face washes, I have tried this chemical peel, I've tried eating healthy, I have tried everything under the sun that you were ever told to try. and. So for me, I just feel like I've hit a brick wall and that nothing is ever going to work. So my last resort is uh, the pill, changing the pill. So as I said, I've been on it for two weeks and it seems to be working. It's only early doors. They've given me three months worth of the pill to see how it works. And then I'm going to review it all at the end of the three months. But I think it's working and I'm hoping that it works. I'm not going to get my hope, uh, hopes up. And if it doesn't work, then that's when I'm going to look into going to a dermatologist or um, going back to the doctors again to see if there is anything else. Because obviously there's options like Roaccutane and things like that. So obviously I'll come to that at the end of this three months of being on the new pill. So the whole purpose of this video is kind of just to let people know that it's okay to have insecurities and if spotty skin is your insecurity then you are not alone and basically to let people know what the options are what you can do so obviously going to the doctors is the first thing that I did and that's not what products haven't worked whatever whatever and um, so it's kind of just finding what works for you obviously I haven't found that yet which is so annoying but I'm 20 years old and I struggle with spots and I know people my age struggle with spots and I struggled with spots when I was 14. So it's just kind of to let you know that you're not alone and we are all struggling with insecurities whether that's spots or not and skin and acne or if it's weight or loads of stuff I'm not going to go into it but I just kind of wanted this video. I know I haven't sat here and given loads of advice but I just thought if I opened up a little bit and like let you guys in to what I'm insecure about it might make you feel a little bit better as well because you've got the same insecurities or you're trying to find a solution as well um, but yeah it's just kind of to let you know that it's fine to not be happy in yourself because one day you will be and I like everything else about myself if that makes sense other than one other thing but I'm not going into that I have another insecurity but like it's okay to like yourself I like everything about myself apart from two things and they are both physical appearance things but I'm trying to learn how to not compare myself to people and obviously you see all of these beautiful girls and they've got completely clear skin and it's not fair <laughs> it's not fair that you all have perfect skin but yeah it's just kind of to talk about it open up a little bit and let you know that you are not alone with the insecurities and that hopefully everything in like a couple of years time from now those insecurities will pass and you'll be confident in yourself confidence is so key and if you're if you like to me if you have a beautiful personality and you're a beautiful person inside then you're a beautiful person outside like it doesn't really matter what you look like so I don't know if the message that I was trying to say has come across but this was kind of like yeah my skincare journey well not skincare my skin and insecurity journey and that I will be doing an updated video whenever my skin is clear <laughs> whenever that happens it will happen speaking it into existence but yeah like, I just wanted to talk about my skin journey and just letting everyone know that it's normal to have spots because I'm fine with it like okay I always say I'm fine with it I'm fine with it because I'm used to having spots if that makes sense I'm so used to having red marks on my face scars on my face that it's normal for me now if that makes sense so I'm okay with having spots because I know it's normal it's so normal obviously I'm insecure about it and I don't want people to look at me and think oh she's really spotty um but yeah it was just to let you guys know that you're not alone 
and I don't know if this has made any person feel any better at all but it was just keep smiling, keep being positive, be a beautiful person on the inside and it will shine through on the outside and if you're a good friend, a good family member, a good girlfriend that's really more, what is more important than what we look like and obviously I can put makeup on and I feel so much better I don't wear makeup to work, people that I work with know that I'm insecure about my skin, I've talked to them about my problems and they don't care what I look like, why would, like my boyfriend doesn't care, obviously he cares what I look like, that, I don't know what I'm trying to, like he knows I have spots and he knows how insecure I am about it but that doesn't take any goodness away from me, I'm still a good person so I don't know if this video is going to come out the way that I wanted it to, but I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to do with this video. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, then please hit the like button and make sure you do subscribe down below. And hopefully one day soon, as soon as possible, there will be an updated skincare, skin, insecurity video updating you and being like, oh my god, hi have clear skin. Anyway, I'm rambling now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!